Alright guys, first thing that you want to do when you're converting up your Eldar Farseer Council on jetbikes is to first of all have the appropriate models. Now, here we have got the um, Eldar Farseer and Warlock, uh, Farseer and Warlock Bodyguard, um, which contains four minis, a Farseer and three Warlocks, which suits our purposes, and you're also going to require Eldar jetbikes. Now you can use the old school Harlequin jetbikes, they work just as well. Um, it really just kind of depends on what it is that you have offhand. I have the jet bikes, obviously, so we'll see how that all goes. Alright, so when you're doing a conversion, the first thing you want to do is to go through your kit and know exactly what pieces it is that you're going to use when assembling it so that you have everything on hand and that you're not going to get towards the end of your build and be like, oh shit, I totally just left something out. So let's have a look at some of the uh, different um, pieces that we'll be using in this uh, conversion. First thing that we have here is just a standard uh, Warlock, as I'm sure you can see, um, in two pieces. What we'll probably do with this guy is... What, uh, uh, what we want to do there is probably just make the incision along there to cut him in half and put him along up on the jet bike and squad, so sorry for the uh, jet bike. So what we're obviously going to use in this particular sprue is we're obviously going to use everything here because it's the main body of the uh, jet bike which is obviously integral to what it is that we're trying to do at this point um, and we'll use the remaining bits of the jet bike here and here um, we're not going to need the well, the only part of the guardian that we're going to require will be the legs as we need something to model the warlock onto uh, the rest of the stuff will be constructed with green stuff Alright, so I've gone ahead and um, separated the top of the torso of the Warlock from the uh, bottom. Just used a um, cutting tool for that. Um, as you can see, I did it with a slight um, imp uh, depression so that if you note on the um, jet bike's uh, legs, the way that it sits on the uh, jet bike is that it's slightly elevated, so that's to compensate for that. And if it's a little too much, then I'm sure I can just uh, green stuff that in. It's also probably worth um, showing you what it is that I meant about the uh, slant in the way that the uh, guardian is positioned on the uh, bike itself. As you can see the legs are slightly, that's the way that they're meant to sit, um, it sits slightly uh, tilted forward so that's why it's important when you're cutting out your uh, Farseer or Warlock to uh, not make too big a cut but just to make it you know, enough that when it will, for example just dry fit it here so that when you sit it up in there he's going to sit up straight or look slightly leaning forward without looking like he's leaning back or you know it, uh, it just takes away from the mini otherwise so keep that tip in mind okay so I've glued on the top of the uh, warlock onto the rest of the jet bike and finished assembling that all up so yep that's all looking good um, I had to modify the blade which glues on um, slightly and just modify the placement I might need to do a little bit of green stuffing work in the join just in there um, just to make it look a little more seamless but other than that it went together pretty well a lot better than a lot of the um, other warlocks uh, and farseers that are available so that's what the little baby's looking like at the moment and uh, we able to start doing um, the banner on the back off the uh, back pole there in a second and uh, start doing some green stuff. So a bit of a general hobby tip to uh, those of you who like to make banners and or um, things like that. Uh, I've seen this from a couple of people such as Van Hammer and uh, whatnot. Um, grab a soda can. For example, I've just got a Rockstar. No product placement, I swear. And what I've done is I've just cut a big knob out the back there and uh, taken a uh, sheet of the uh, foil and what you can do with that is just basically measure it out to what you need and then cut it out and then use it. I mean, it's it's really just that simple. Um, you probably want to give it a couple coats of paint because the paint doesn't take always too kindly to it initially, so probably going to have to prime it once and then give it probably a touch-up coat before you start to paint it. So just bear that in mind when, when you're working with the uh, cans. So I've gone ahead and uh, cut out my uh, piece of flag, just basically cut a triangle to shape. Um, and then if you'll note down at the back, I cut out a few little tabs so that I can wrap it around the uh, back of the banner pole without too much problem and uh, glue that up. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. So that's all been glued on now, so 
that'll be good to uh, paint up. A um, bit of a, another tip, when you plan to paint these banners, what you probably want to do is just leave it straight like this. I know it probably doesn't look too realistic and you probably want to flutter it out, but it's um, a whole lot easier to paint on a flat surface like this, so leave it like this for the moment. Um, and when you finish painting it, then go in with a pair of uh, pliers or uh, tweezers or whatever and then just bend it from there. You don't want to try and be painting something like, for example, you don't want to be trying to paint something like that. I mean, that's all crooked and uh, that'd just be a nightmare. So keep it flat, it just makes life a whole lot easier. Um, paint it up and then bend it later. So that's what you want to do. Okay, and now we come to the part of the hobby that a lot of people absolutely detest and a lot of people absolutely love. Ladies and gentlemen, green stuff. So, or yellow and blue stuff that we're going to make into green stuff. So, let's get into this and uh, we'll see how we go. Just a few little tips. Um, just remember to use lots of water and use uh, wet your tools, wet your hands. It is going to get pretty messy if you haven't used it before. Um, and we'll see how we go. Alright, so... Remembering to wet the fingers now that we've got the uh, green stuff all made up. Just keep kneading it until you've got, you know, the solid green consistency all the way through without any blue and yellow dobs. What you want to do is just basically take a bit at first. What we're going to do for the first bit is chuck it over the top part of the um, fascia, over the top of the lap, because those legs are really ugly and fascias and warlocks like to wear dresses, so we're going to have to get rid of that. So what you want to do is just take a little bit and what we're going to do is flatten it out and then basically layer it on. Okay, so we've done the first little st stage of green stuff where we've just plugged it all along the bottom there for his little kilt, um, making sure to tuck it behind the behind his body so that it looks like it wraps around. So now we can begin work on the uh, cloak. Now one thing to remember um, is that a lot of the different models have got some back details so be sure to blend it in with that or let it work from underneath it so what I'm going to do here as you can see there's some fur and stuff there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the cape and cloak coming out from behind it uh, sorry from underneath that rather than over the top of it otherwise it would just end up making it look crap so we'll see it in the next bit okay so guys basically now what you're looking at is the obviously the finished product of a uh, you converted up a uh, warlock on jet bike, or um, well in terms of building anyway. Um, from this point, you can either leave it like this, like I will, or if you're really good with green stuff, what you can do is you can do a little bit of green stuff, uh, I guess sculpting work on the body as I guess you require, and using other plastic kits to really spruce it up, so to speak. But all that really comes down to personal flavour and the way that you want your group to look like. 